Hey all, a very good day and welcome back to another video of Art and Craft a Hobby. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make miniature hats of different types. So let's begin. I have some empty yogurt cups which I'll be making use of today to make the hats. I have six yogurt cups here and these are 50 gram yogurt cups. Other materials we'll need to make these hats are glue, scissors and these are some woolens left over from my previous projects. And also you will need some pieces of cardboard. I will first cut the rim of all the six cups. For the first hat, I am marking a line of around 1 cm from the base of the cup. I am drawing this line around the cup. I am now cutting vertical lines from the top of the cup till the marked line as I am showing in the video. Ensure you make odd number of cuts so that it's easy while we are weaving the hat. Here I have made 9 cuts and I will be making a fold at the marked line. The cup shaped portion is called the crown of the hat and the cut portion is called the brim. I will now start uh, winding the woolen around the crown of the hat. Apply glue throughout the crown and wind the woolen around the crown to achieve this. To cover the brim of the hat, use the basket weaving technique by taking the woolen up and down the slits. So this is going to be the same process for all the hats I am making today. This is the reason we need odd number of slits so that every weave will take the woolen up and down throughout the length of the slits. The brim is now ready. I am applying glue to the edges of the brim so that the woolen and the plastic are glued together. While I allow the glue to dry, I will apply mild weight on the crown of the hat so that it holds shape. The glue is now dried and I will cut the extra pieces of plastic protruding out. A hat is now ready. To decorate the hat, I am using a quilled flower and a quilling strip. I'll glue the quilling strip around the bottom of the crown as I'm showing in the video. You can use any embellishments to decorate the hat. Here I'm using the quilling strips. This is our first miniature hat which is the women's summer hat. There are a lot of variations to the summer hat. And I've tried making one of it. Hope you all liked it. To make the second hat, I am making slits all along the sides of the cup. Here again I am making a odd numbered slits. I'll only retain the base. As I am showing in the video, I am folding the slits upward to make it flat. So these slits are going to be the brim of our hat. To make the crown, I am using a square cardboard and I am cutting from the four corners, retaining the center as I am showing in the video. I'll now glue two sides at a time. Sorry about being off the camera. I'll now cut the extra portion. I'll glue the remaining two sides 
the cone we use to make for mehendi is too narrow that's the reason i'm making a cone in this method so once i cut the extra portions i'll glue this to the base of the cup we have just cut i'll allow the glue to dry and then wind woolen around the cone and the brim of the hat as we did in the previous hat so this is how i'll be placing the cone and after winding the woolen this is what we'll achieve i've glued the edges and allowed it to dry once dried i'll trim the extra pieces of the cup So this hat is called a chapi which is the traditional hat of a northeastern part of India specifically the state of Assam so that is how the traditional hat looks like you can add any embellishments to decorate the hat hope you all liked it next i'm going to make a baseball cap for which again i'm making a marking around the cup after around 1 cm from the base on one side i am making a protrusion which is the peak of the cap i am now cutting all along the marked line so be gentle while cutting these cups as they are flimsy and tend to tear off i am making smaller partitions and cutting the marked line so once i've cut the extra portion of the cup i'm going to wind the woolen of desired color around the hat so i've wound the woolen now i've used two colors here and not much of decoration to this cap i'm just adding a quilt tight coil on top of the cap so this is a baseball cap hope you all liked this simple baseball cap for the next hat i have already made a marking from around 1 cm from the base I'm going to make the peaks on all four sides as I'm showing in the video. I'm now going to cut the extra portion around the marked line. The base for the cap is now ready. I'm folding the peaks outwards so that it eases the winding of woolen. The winding of woolen for the crown is same as we did for the other caps and for the peak i'll be winding the woolen separately for each peak here i have completed it for two of the peaks and i'll continue the same for the other two gluing on one side of the peak will suffice while you are winding the woolen the glue is going to take a while to dry so be patient so the four peaks are now ready so this cap has four sides one for the front and one for the back of the neck and the other two sides are to cover the ears so if while it's not covering the ears it will be tied up on top of the cap i will now glue up two pieces of tags to the peaks that cover the ear and once the tags are dried i'll be tying it up on top of the cap So this is a tag I got along with the apparel. So I'm making reuse of it. I'm applying a piece of cellophane strip on top so that it's more secure. This hat is called the hunter's hat or the deer stalker hat. 
this pattern of hat is known to be worn by the very famous sherlock holmes hope you all liked it for the fifth hat i'll be making a cap with a long crown and short brim so i'm marking the line as i'm showing in the video and i'll cut slits below the marking line so the winding of the woolen is going to be same as we did for the earlier caps i'm using a black colored woolen because this hat is generally in black color so for this base i'll wind black woolen and this is how it looks i have cut the extra portions of the cup and from the leftover white tag i have applied red color and i'll be wrapping it around the base of the crown the extra glue around the tape will turn transparent on drying so this is the very famous magician's hat hope you all liked it for the final hat i'm reducing the height of the cup by making a mark so i'll cut off the extra piece around the mark next i'm going to take a piece of cardboard i'll use the rim of the cup that we cut off earlier i'll be cutting a square that is a little wider than what we have marked the crown and the cardboard piece are now ready i will be winding black woolen around the cup and the cardboard that we have cut So this is how the crown and the cardboard looks after winding the woolen. There's a little glue which is here to dry on the cardboard. I will further use the rim to make a tassel for the hat. I'm having yellow woolen here. You can even use a red woolen. So uh, my tassel the crown and the cardboard is ready i'll be using a black tag or woolen to tie the tassel to the cardboard i will now glue the cardboard to the crown so this makes our mortar board hat or the graduation hat hope you all liked it so guys these are the six type of miniature hats i have tried making today hope you all liked it these are really inexpensive if not woolen you can use jute threads embroidery threads or waxed paper coils to make these hats if you did like today's video do hit the like button and please share and subscribe to art and craft a hobby thank you for watching keep supporting